All right, you see Maya the, Maya the Wonder Dog and Joe Lee. So as you can expect, I'm back in here with my buddies. There's Terry Lee, everybody. the famous Richard, and our leader today. <laughs> That's a scary thought sometimes. Yeah, it is. Bo. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> obviously we're on the on the trail for gold. Bo got us access to the property. When we first walking down through here, you can see the little, I call it a drainage ditch almost. Well, kind of pan up and down here. There's not a lot of water, but there is some water. It's all gravel. And Bo says it's gravel underneath and judging by that little area right there let me get kind of close Picture here there is quartz gravel in here Bo checked this spot out and sound said he found a, some pretty nice little chunky pieces of gold and anyway we appreciate getting the opportunity to get in here we're going to take you guys along hope we can find some gold the one thing i got to tell you three is Good luck. If we don't find anything, we're oh. gonna start. We're gonna start looking like the Blackwater Master and his son Travis. No, if we don't find anything, I might come up missing. Right, right. <laughs> well, you gotta remember, we're just probably <laughs> out in the country here. Okay, well, just remember, <laughs> we're starting to look like those two guys, and we don't want to look like that. No. All right. So let's find some gold. All right. All right. Good plan. Good plan. Good plan. All right, Bo's first man with a shovel. <laughs> In the creek. Terry Lee mentioned it's got some clay in it, so. Yeah, a lot of gravel. Really good. Some clay, so. I don't know. There it says go. we got some age there. Nice, nice gravel in there. Could be some gold stuck to that clay, I don't know. All right. Undisturbed, that's what I was It's undisturbed, that's the good thing. All right, Bo. We're gonna see what you can find us. We're going to try it anyway. Bo's in disguise. He's in an Air Force Staff Sergeant set of coveralls today with another name. So <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't know who he is. He's a uh, family name. Family name. Okay. <laughs> All right, we'll bring you back here in just a little bit when we get start panning this material. Hopefully we'll get some color in. All right, Richard's cool. digging in another area. Judging from the color. Now that clay it almost looks like this really decomposed pegmatite. Tailing. A lot of clay. I don't see a lot of gravel. But yeah. You just started digging, so we'll come back and check you in just a little bit. See what yeah, you get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see. Find us some gold, man. What we're looking for. I'm happy. Okay. Happy to be out in the country. Me too. I'm walking down the little narrow creek. When I say it's narrow, you can see it's only about two feet across. I'm downstream from where those guys are, but just gravel all through here. So hopefully we can find some. See some big pieces of gravel quartz, I mean quartz right against that tree. The property owner was nice enough to flag some trees along the boundary line. Make sure we don't get caught trespassing. Thank you, sir. We appreciate it. All right, Terry Lee brought his homemade Saruka, Saraka, Saruka, whatever it is. I'm not sure. Bo's cleared off a little bit of area. Now he's getting ready to flip it. This is how we check a creek, Ooh, looking to see if there's anything mineralized in there. And as you can see, there's the center that Terry Lee always talks about. It's red. That's the concentrates, the heavy material. And we see check him out. garnets and what else in there? It's like a hematite. Hematite, let me some buckshot. But at least we have a center, so. And a baby What's crawfish. What's surprising me, because we're digging in pure quartz. Yeah. A baby crawfish. Check him out. Baby crawfish? Yep. Okay. That it is. Let's see if we can get it on camera. I don't think I've ever seen one that small. <laughs> Too small for me to eat, that's the problem. 
I brought some home, put them in the fish aquarium. They climbed the pump and got out. <laughs> Catherine was hollering, there's one chasing her in the living room. Well, yeah, that's hematite. hematite. There's, a, there's a good chance we're going to find a speck of gold in your pan there, bro. Okay. Any okay. So, uh, garnets, you see any more garnets or anything in there? I don't really see any garnets. It looks like there's someone who first walked up on it. But All right, we'll check the pan. We'll pan it out and see what we have. When you can rate, use that to read what the mineral composition is in rivers and streams, yep. even on dry ground, I mean, there's a use for it. That's right, exactly right. Yes, I've no. dug in many of curves in the bins and never found heavy material where you thought it would be. Right. But with this tool, you can read a creek like a book. That's what I keep telling everybody. People, some, people, some people think it's hocus pocus or it's useless for gold prospecting, but we find it otherwise. Well, you found the famous mine, Candy Branch, right? I did. I discovered the Candy Branch and several other mineral deposits, gold mines, that uh, property owners didn't want to mine the gold. Yep. They thought it would tear up their farms. Okay, so one of the most famous gold locations with humongous sized nuggets sterilely found using that Sirica, Sirica, Sirica screen. All right, Bo's panning it out. I'm going to get closer up and see what we get. Hold on. I'm walking on down the little creek and there's quartz all over the bank. It's all on the one side, so in this large pieces, it doesn't look very mineralized. But it's all on the right side, so maybe somebody at some point in time, because that one's grown into the tree, somebody at some point in time has worked this creek and pitched all the rocks to the side. It just looks like old bull quartz to me. Not much in the way of mineralization, if anything at all. And this on down the creek. All on the right side of the creek as we walk down. So again, looks like somebody has pitched those up there. Bo says there's test pits all around here too. So at least it's been explored at some point in time. Well, I told you wrong. There's actually rocks pitched up on both sides of the creek. I say they're pitched up, they may be natural there. I don't see any pegmatite. All I see is mostly bull quartz. And there's the other side of the creek, and you can see the quartz in the bank over there. And we've got plenty of quartz in the water. Lots of gravel in the water, so... Hopefully we'll get on some color here. Decent color in just a minute. Or not. Bo says he's found color. Let's check the pan out yeah, and see. You're in different color mud than I am up there. All right, there's a little. There you go. This camera's not showing it. There you go. What is that? Like a two inch line across the edge of that pan? Yep. Now I that, see it all down. It's in fine. That, that's a lot of gold there. That's a lot of gold. That's a lot of gold. And right? I ain't even got I can see it down in here that ain't even worked up. <laughs> Okay, it's time for me to put the camera away and see if I can. It's find. fine. Oops, you just. It's fine. See yeah. it? Look at the gold around that pan. Look at all that color around there. Well, I just did a pan. I got nothing. I'm seeing some nice, some pegmatite, little feldspar, some rosy quartz, but I'm not seeing any gold yet. Of course, that's my first pan, but. Bo went downstream down the creek and says the rocks are really pitched on both sides as they go down. So they've decided to head back upstream. Since my first pan showed nothing, I'm going to move myself. Okay, we decided to change locations. We got to talking to Bo, and that nice little streak that he found was so fine it really has no weight. And then when he told me that he screened a five gallon bucket material to get that. 
we decided we moved to another spot. And here we are now. As you can see, it's been dug pretty good. And there's a lot more water. And plenty of gravel. And the one thing we want to do is fill that bag up. <laughs> Bo says we want to fill that bag up. I agree. <laughs> Not with rocks, though. No, with the fine AU. 27.78 <laughs> Troy out. Okay. All right, we're going to find a spot to dig. We picked up another guy, Jay. I'll introduce you in a few minutes. He'll show us some gold that he found down here recently. It was yesterday. As recently as yesterday. Bring it back. All right, I thought, I'd get, we'd, get, I thought we'd get a shot of... Uh, Richard's butt crack. <laughs> Actually, that's not his butt, folks. That's his back. He's already started digging. Yeah, I'm already in it. And trying to walk through the creek here. You can see we have plenty of rock. There's an awful lot of iron here. I mean, actual. Yeah, there's a lot of rock in there. Actually, uh, hematite iron. A lot of it. Jay. Yeah. Green rock. I don't know what that is. Guess Jay's built a little dam here. So we can pan. Look at us, Jay. Do, been doing pretty good? Doing pretty good, I guess. All right, I we'll, mean... We'll, we'll, we'll take a look at that vial in just a minute. We found down here. All right, we'll see what this pans out. I'll bring you back in just a minute. Jay's showing us a panning technique here. And yeah, hopefully he's going to show us some gold in just a minute. And I'm going to scoot in here just in case you got lucky. Okay, I see some already. That's a pretty nice little flake, yeah. Oh, crap. That looks real good. That's more than we found all day at the other spot. Let me take... Let me get a close-up on that. There's some fines. All right, folks, we just moved it. Mm -hmm. All right, there's a piece of chunky gold right there. You guys can see it. Uh, there's several pieces. Yeah. See if you can pull it down just a little bit. Okay, there you go. Hold it right there. Zoom in on that. And there's two nice pieces right there. Still hadn't pulled the black sand back. But that's nice. That's nice for your first little little pan. We're happy. Alright. Indies needed something to film all day. Needed something to film all <laughs> something to film all day. Now I'm gonna walk over here where Richard is. He's probably dug where they've already dug. No, he should have had dug here. Richard's going to make our eyes pop out. <laughs> Don't want to give away where we are, folks, here on camera. Don't want to give out any information. Come on, Richard. Don't I'm gonna show me some cold. Mm. Okay, let me see. I'm not seeing. Oh, uh, yeah, I do. I see it. I think that's from the other place. Oh, okay, that's from the other place. Yeah. All right. That's still the same cold I had from over there at the other creek. Got to do better than that. Yeah. All right, let's go take, take, take a look at Jay's vial here. Yeah. Go somewhere else. I'm not having any luck. <laughs> All right, so there's Jay's vial from the other day. Who's that? That's mine. That's yours. Oh, you hadn't found that when I've been with you. That's nice, man. That is some super chunky gold there. Let's see if I can get. There we go. You found that right here. All but two pieces. All but two pieces. Okay, that is super. I'll put it next to next to Bo's gold vial. 
You not tell me where that came from. Bo's got some nice flakes in there too, man. Look at that crap. You holding out on me, Bo. If uh, you finding any on the rock. I, I make sure I try to wash them real good before I dump them, but. Yeah, you haven't found any. I them. haven't found any sitting on top. All right, dude. That yes, looks good. Now I gotta get my shovel out and start digging. Okay, there's my first first little pan. And I see one fairly decent speck and one more in that black sand. There we go. That's not too bad a piece. It's not great, but there's only one small pan. A couple of shovels. You got anything? I got two little fly poop specks. Okay, here's what one of those guys has found. That's a nice piece of quartz right there. Full of gold. And all this gold back here. Nice chunky. That's over the summer. Chunky gold, that's nice. Oops. I'm hitting that zoom, but actually that's a blessing. Alright, that's what one of those guys found since Bo and I have been sampling up and down stream. Nice chunky pieces. It's not quite enough light. No, I got a flashlight over here. Huh? Jay, you ever hit any bedrock in here? Yet? All right, there, there we go. go. There we go. That's a big piece of quartz. I got up to here. Hey, it's yeah, got so gold like running through it. Let me get the, the hold on. We get the kind of get the flashlight. Give up all your secrets. There we, oh man. That's beautiful. beautiful. That is, that is beautiful. Well, That's pieces of gold all intermixed in that quartz. It's just all through it. Little there, oh, yeah. there you go. Uh -huh. Roll it around in your hand. That's not see if you can put your light on it without the glass. There you go. Put some light on it. Yeah. That's nice. That's a nice piece, Rich. Yeah. We'll take that all day. Heck yeah, we would. Okay, I've been out walking around most of the day, collecting rocks, looking at geology, taking video. Decided to come down here, do a pan for myself. And I don't know if you can see it, but on top of all that black sand, there's some in the black sand. Nice pieces of gold. Two at the top of the pan right there. Well, as you can see, this is all creeks full of hematite, heavy hematite, iron ore, quartz, mineralized pegmatite, some quartz in there, feldspar, mica, and streaks of iron. Unlike the creek we were in earlier today, earlier this morning. I'm finding fly poop specks every pan. Not getting rich. Well, Jay's doing pretty good. Okay, Terry Lee and I kind of toss this around. We feel like the since the only gold we're finding in this little creek is just upstream a piece and downstream just a piece and nothing much beyond that. But up on the hill here, there's some been mining going on up there so we figured this must be the narrow zone where the gold is do you agree i do i, mean, I didn't find anything iron, up, up there's there a lot up, of iron natural iron a lot goes. of iron all i found going up and down was just a fly poop speck here or two of there you know two or three in a pan that was it but all that seems to be concentrated right in here and the big stuff is right in here and that's right in line with those diggings up on the hill Okay, so you say he's okay digging up on the hill, the place where you found the other yeah. gold. What happened there? You were down in the creek and what? Um, well, you know, you get used to digging this dust out here in South Carolina. Right. And so I went days digging that dust and I was starting to accumulate tailing piles behind me. And one day I was just going through my gravels and uh, I popped a little nugget. And uh, so I just went back to my tailing piles and picked 
thumb size nuggets out, nickel size nuggets out. We got lifted up my foot one time and there was a nickel size nugget I was standing on. Just laying out in the open. That was up on the hill? Uh, well, that's what I'd brought down from the hill to the creek. Okay, to pan it out? Yeah, I was just getting dust so you're... and wasn't even looking for nuggets. And then you got into, what'd you say, the potato rot? Um, that's where you found all the little BB. Well, that happened, that happened a little earlier, right? Um, when I first come up out of the gully looking for the right hillside to go up on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you just tracked it I tracked uphill it with that with Saruka, Saraka, Saraka screen Saruka. or whatever yeah. until you found the mine. And uh, this here, when you got off course, you knew it instantly. So okay. you'd be able to turn, you know, don't waste your time going that way. Wow. And then when I got up there, yeah, about a foot deep. I found these little potato rocks and I just kind of dug all those out and they pointed me and confirmed that it was coming off of, well, hogback, basically. You know? Off the tail side up there. Yeah. Wow. I have a story I'd like to... Yeah, we need to go in great detail on this. Yeah, have a minute. To... Some point in time. Yeah. All right, appreciate you sharing that with us. There's some other great stories up there, like when I would pile up the dirt in the creek and I would just pick the little pickers out as the dirt washed away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, up, you're making me sick. Now I'm <laughs> time to start digging again. Made me think when I clean it. All right, well, you got some color. You got some mercury on here, too. Yeah. On that gold. Those big yeah, silver. A lot of mercury. Silver chunks or all oh, amalgams of mercury, and then there's some gold there, too. This is Richard's pan. I mean, that's, that's pretty nice pan. Yeah, yeah not bad. For a couple hours or three. Yeah, that's better than getting skunked. Yeah. So I'm guessing that Jay is the gold king today, right? Yeah. Uh, you were the king last no, time. He's got the specimen. Well, he right? does have a nice specimen with quartz but and gold, but a lot more I'm a total gold. I think Jay is the gold king today. You, you, you're the winner. We always, at the end of the video, we always figure out who is gold king, and that'll be you. He, he did the best, but we didn't ever. I mean, nobody. Nobody got skunked. No, huh? nobody got skunked. Yeah, we all found gold somewhere, some. I had gold in every pan. But it's just fly poop specks and I'll clean up a snuffer bottle when I get home and show it to you, but you had a good day. Yeah, he had a real good day. Yeah, he had a real good day. Nice to meet you, Jay. We'll you too. put you on the video and catch you another time. Reggie? Yeah. Um, hey, I've enjoyed it. Back out in the country again. There we go. It's a beautiful day, even though it's been cloudy. Water's a little chilly, but hey, that's all good. Yep. It's nope. all part of it. That's right, man. You, you got some color, so. Yeah, I got some color. I'm happy. Looks like Maya's happy, so. Yeah. All right, let's go see what Bo and Terry Lee found up on top of the hillside. Okay, Bo, you uh, t you and Terry Lee came down from the hill. You, you found some this last time? Found a little bit. A little bit, so it's all in the hillside, just scattered. Scattered wherever you where you dig. All right. Well, it's not a whole lot in the creek. I mean, I, I mean, I did. You know, I found. I never got skunked, but I didn't do a whole lot of digging anyway. I was mostly shooting video and collecting rocks. But uh, all right, Terry Lee, good to see you, man. Well, I didn't get skunked either, <laughs> which is unusual. <laughs> That's a good thing, Joe Lee. You come back and see us now, boy. We'll see, you see next us, girl. Time. <laughs> all right, y'all, take it easy. See you next time. I haven't put up a gold video lately and I want to try to get something up this week so I'm going to grab this bucket. This is a, a bucket of gravel and dirt I just dug out of a hillside, out of that hillside where we were working this past weekend. It was a gully, exposed gully and there's just chunks of this gravel and really iron rich and dirt so I just grabbed some, throw it in the bucket here. I'm going to wash it out right quick, take it up to the shop, we'll pan it out, also see whatever we found in the snuffer bottle, we'll add that to the, to the tank, pan it out, see what we have. Camera says I have about eight minutes of video left, so I'm just going to kind of rush through it. This is the dirt that I washed away from around the gravel. I'm going to drop it in my pan here. Pan it out, see if there's anything there. That'll tell me if that gravel is associated with the gold or maybe not. I don't know. And I'll probably come back at a later date and crush some of that and, and check it. Also, separately, I'll crush that piece of pegmatite 
and we'll save that for another video and if I have enough video left I'll look what's in my snuffer bottle and try to pan it out right quick and, and put it on this one all right bring my guys back in just a few minutes well I'm kind of surprised I'm seeing nothing this is what I've panned out and I'm seeing nothing just a lot of black sand I see no color at all kind of expected it to be associated with that heavy black gravel but evidently not maybe it's all coming from the pegmatite or maybe I just didn't get you know good enough sample alright there's nothing there anyway so let me find the snuffer bottle right quick we'll pan it out and see if we got anything at all I know there's a little bit in there because I got you know three four two to four or five specks per pan so we'll pan that out and at least show you some kind of gold. Bummer. Well, as you can see, <laughs> Andy didn't get rich, but you know, I only did maybe 14 shovels, seven, seven pans, because I was too busy doing other things. All right, let's show you what I have. Yeah, there's a little bit in there. It's pretty. Not a lot. Didn't get rich. But, can I get any closer? Nah. A little chunky piece. But that's some color. Anyway, I think. The goal is probably in that pegmatite. I'll crush a piece of that and go back again, crush some more, maybe shoot a little less video next time, do a little less exploring and concentrating on concentrate on trying to get a little bit of gold. Jay Jay did really good. He did he did real well. And I think Richard got a nice chunky piece too in that quartz. It was really pretty with the gold laced in the quartz. So that's my take. Appreciate you guys going along with us. Maybe next time, next time we'll get rich. All right, catch you later. Thanks for watching.